Hello guys, welcome back to the Media Nights. My name is Ari. And I'm Denise. And today we're going to be watching The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug. Smog. Smaug. Smog. Smog. <laughs> Smog. We're going to be watching this. We are so excited for this part two in The Hobbit's journey. It's, it's been really cool to see what they've been able to do so far. I really do enjoy the dwarves characters and, and seeing Bilbo as a young adventurous Bilbo before <laughs> the adventures that we saw in The Lord of the Rings was pretty cool and also a, a great way to see a bit of an expansion to the world that we've, uh, you know, encountered so far in the previous films. It was so cool to see, you know, certain moments that were mentioned in the original trilogies actually have it come to life, like right in front of us, yeah. like with the trolls, you know, the riddles in the dark it, it was it was just so amazing also you know we got to see a little glimpse of frodo uh, just before all the, all of the events of lord of the rings and it was it was honestly really nice obviously fan service but i loved it it, it, it tugged on my heartstrings <laughs> we're gonna be watching the extended edition so if you want to watch the full length reaction alongside us that's going to be available on our patreon and if you want to be one of the first people to watch these reactions make sure that you hit the join button and become a youtube member thank you guys so much for watching this and for all the support the comments the likes the subscribes yeah. it really means the world to us and it helps us out a ton. We hope that you enjoy and we'll catch you guys after the movie. Oh, I just remembered Bilbo's got the ring now. Yeah. I wonder if we're going to see the same thing that happened to uh, Frodo slowly happen to Bilbo. Yeah, I'm really curious to see how that's going to affect him. Or can it affect him, right? Right. Because Sauron, he's still around, but he's not as powerful right now. So. Right. And Bilbo was the only one who willingly was able to relinquish the ring. I love this theme so much. The I'm melody just, say it. Yeah. yeah, such great memories. Haha, <laughs> 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 Brie? What? Okay. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> nice little cameo there. <laughs> I love it. Exactly like in the, in the original. I like how they're all hooded figures. It reminds me of mm -hmm. uh, the time where we met uh, Aragorn. Yeah. The prancing oh, speaking pony. Of, speaking of. There he is. There he is. Thorin. Mm, that's not Lembus. No. <laughs> oh, he looks friendly. Oh, boy. Trouble. I like how you can see the weapon right there, just framed yeah. in the center. <laughs> He's ready. Oh, God. Come and get it. No way, right here? Mind if I join you? I've had a set. Okay. Gandalf. I should introduce myself. My name is Gandalf. Gandalf the Grey. This is a fine chance. This is what happened before the first film. Mm hmm. I received word that my father had been seen wandering the wilds near Dunland. Found no sign of him. Just wandering. You think he is dead? I was not at the Battle of Moria. No, but I was. Indeed, he was. Oof. At the end of that battle, I searched amongst the slain. Oh, he never got to ID him. Interesting. It's been a long time since anything but rumor was heard of Thren. He still lives. I am sure of it. I sure hope so, man. The ring your grandfather wore, one of the seven given to the dwarf lords many years mm -hmm. ago. What became of it? He gave it to my father before they went into battle. So Thrain was wearing it when he when he went missing. Oh. Oh. He was a a ring bearer. I urged him to march upon Erebor, and I would say the same to you. This is no chance meeting, is it? <laughs> oh no. No. I ran into some unsavory characters. One of them was carrying a message. His black speech. Oh. Oh, no way. There you go. The payment for what? Your head. They wanted him dead. What? Unite the armies of the dwarves. Together you have the might and power to retake Erebor. Rise to the occasion, man. The Arkenstone lies half a world away, buried beneath the feet of a fire-breathing dragon. Which is why we're going to need a burglar. <laughs> Bilbo! <laughs> there he is! <laughs> wow, a whole year later. Wow. So it took about a year of planning. Or how long was the first film supposed to be? Anyway, regardless, 12 months later. I'm assuming plus their journey and everything else included in that. Uh. Oh, he is huge. Oh, God. <laughs> we have another problem. They saw you. No, that's not it. <laughs> what did I tell you? Quiet as a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you there is something else out there. What form did it take? Like a bear? Yeah, how do you know? 
You knew about this beast. There is a house. Whose house? Yeah. He will help us or he will kill us. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Neutral grounds. <laughs> you might as well give it a chance. It's crazy. They've been on the run all this time. I they have know. not stopped. Yeah, they've got oh these guys on their tail. <laughs> I'm getting panicky just seeing these guys. This way! Quickly! <laughs> <laughs> keep going, man! I keep grabbed him by the beard, I'm like, not the beard! <laughs> Run! Hey, there yes! you go. Yes! <laughs> the that panic be kicking in, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh! That's a big boy. Close the close oh. it out! <laughs> Just boop the snoot. <laughs> Come on! That was really stressful, man. That is our host. Wait, what? Excuse me? His name is Bayon. He's a skin changer. A skin changer? Okay. However, he is not over fond of dwarves. Oh, great. Yikes. All we've got here are dwarves and a hobbit. Get some sleep, all of you. You'll be safe here tonight, I hope. <laughs> Gee, thank you. I know. Gandalf. <laughs> like, I'm not sure, but you know, try to get some sleep at least. While you can. Oh. The master. Oh, your boss is calling. About to see some Dol Guldur action. They're probably not too happy with him. <gasps> what if the necromancer is the master? Oh, we finally get to see him. That'd be awesome. This looks like such an inviting place, man. So warm yeah. and nice. It's like Rivendell, but better. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Yeah, the movements and how they show us the environment. And that's pretty cool. Not gonna yeah. lie. Loving that. It's just darkness. Yeah. Borg! Oh, he's a mean looking guy. <laughs> yes. He's bigger too. Oh. That is awesome. Oh, cool. Does he change at will or does it just happen like a werewolf situation? That's a good question. I wonder if he has any control over that. So you are the one they call Luke and Shield. Look at the size, man. You know, Vazog, how the Defiler killed most of my family. Oh. Oh, shit. Caging skin changers and torturing them seemed to amuse him. So he's also suffered yeah. because of them. Once there were many. And now? Now there is only one. Wow, just him. What? I don't like dwarves. They're greedy. But orcs I hate more. Well, okay. There you go. <laughs> the enemy of my enemy yeah. type of thing. <laughs> right? Oh, he's so intimidating. My goodness. Fell things are drawn to his power. I so pay so much time. Gandalf, time is wasting. We were getting some good exposition, man. Come on. <laughs> when a great evil ruled these lands, one powerful enough to raise the dead. Saruman the White says it's not possible. Oh, man. The enemy was destroyed and will never return. I have a oh, feeling yeah. he is returning. Never say never, man. Go now while you have the light. Yeah, they can't trust on those animals. Might be spies, right? Like in the first yeah. film. There's always eyes watching. I love how they set up the stakes more in this one. They're coming in stronger. Yeah. They're coming in with the momentum yes. already. Yeah. All the heavy lifting has been done. Here lies our path through Mirkwood. No sign of the orcs. We have luck on our side. I wouldn't talk that loudly <laughs> just yet, you know? This forest feels... Creepy? Sick. As if a disease lies upon it. Oh, it's corrupting. Oh, tempting him already. Beware the necromancer. He is not what he seems. Oh! If our enemy has returned, we must know. Oh shit. Go to the tombs in the mountains. The high fells. Does that, beard. does that all but confirm it? So, is the necromancer Sauron? Could he be? 
You're not leaving us. I would not do this unless I had to. What do you mean? You've changed, Rupert Baggins. He feels it. Is he referring to the... I was going to tell you. I found something in the Goblin Tunnels. Found what? Yes. Hmm. What did you find? Persuading him to not tell him. My courage. <laughs> Gandalf knows better. Mm -hmm. Do not enter that mountain without me. He's probably sensing something already on Bilbo. Yeah, he's feeling that. it, but I don't think he's ver like super attuned to it just yet. Do not touch the water. Cross only by the stone bridge. The very air okay. of the forest is heavy with illusion. It will seek to enter your mind and lead you astray. What does that mean? It'll make you lose yourself. Excellent. Well... Stay on the path! There's a one chance to find the hidden door. I don't All right, know, they man. need the light from that day to uh, see where the door is. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. So they gotta haul some ass here. They cannot get delayed. I don't know how I feel about not having Gandalf around, man. He just keeps leaving. <laughs> Can we you just, just feel stay put? so much safer with him around. I know. It's funny. Anytime they want to rise those stakes up even <laughs> higher, they're like, let's just remove Gandalf from the <laughs> equation. You were feeling safe and sound? Great. Would be a shame if something were to happen to that. Forest looks so imposing, right? I love the the set design. This is actually not just CGI. There's yeah. actual physical elements here being blended in. Really nice. <sighs> See, that's when I think CGI works the best when you combine it with physical elements. Yeah. Wait, is that the bridge that they were supposed to cross and Maybe. not touch the water? Guess not anymore. The waters of this stream are enchanted. Doesn't look very enchanting to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, something is affecting Bilbo. Yeah. We send the lightest first. Bilbo, that's you. <laughs> <sighs> Just don't fight it, man. At this point, he's going to become used to it. Yeah, he's the guinea pig. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Oof. That heartbeat thump. I know. <laughs> Please don't. Yeah, snap pull, out of it, man. Pull your shit together, man. Yeah, you could see how it's almost like a trance-inducing experience. It's like pulling him in. Something is not right. Stay where you are! Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. All of them at the same time? That's crazy. Yeah, this force is powerful. Very powerful. It's taking a hold of them. <laughs> it's almost like it warps their time, right? And their senses. I do not even know what day it is. This is taking too long. Whoa. Keep moving, guys. This is only gonna get worse. Don't leave the path. Don't leave the trail. Gandalf said, "Do as I say. Follow me." I think that's Don't a good touch idea. it. No, <laughs> Bilbo. Why? Fool of a tuck. Why do you have to touch? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, the spider yeah. knows you're here, man. It's not over here, neither. Oh my god. They got lost so quickly. This is so disorienting. And they warned. They warned them. Whoa! What? Oh, that's so trippy. You can't keep track of anything. Go round in circles. We are lost. But which way is east? We've lost the sun. Yeah, it's so dense you can't even guide yourself by the sunlight. We have to find the sun up there. Think, Bilbo. Oh my god. Uh... We are <laughs> no! What? We're being watched. Yep, sober okay. up. <laughs> Snap Please. out of it, man. You guys are gonna need to defend yourselves. Whatever lives oh. on those woods. Look at how dense I that web know, is. Man. It's too <laughs> fucking big. <laughs> big bees, big spiders. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> yeah, get some fresh air. Oh, there he is. Oh, great performance. Wow. I felt that relief, man. Yeah. I felt that breath of fresh air. Yeah, it's like a blanket being lifted from his face, right? The Lonely Mountain. 
<laughs> We're almost there. Oh, they're so much closer. Can you hear me? I know which way to go. Are they still around? Are they still there? Oh. Oh, that's not good. Is that coming towards them? I think it's getting closer, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's definitely getting closer. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, ah, ouch. <laughs> Jeez. Holy Christ. Another huge spider. It's another Hobbit meal. Oh, oh, oh. oh, wow. Yep, there you go. We're here again. This feels familiar. Oh my god! Really? Do we need to relive this again? Uh. I'm assuming that's all the other dwarves. Oh yeah. Oh, there's oh multiple. wow. Yeah, multiple oh, of them. There's multiple. <laughs> we don't have that light thing they had in the first one. Oh, the light of Erendil? Yeah. Ah! Oh! Oh! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Good for you! <laughs> it's gonna piss Stealth off the attack. others, but... Oh yeah. They got lucky they didn't get paralyzed. <sighs> I wonder if it's almost like a, the spider's neurotoxin that got them all confused. And once he came up for fresh air... He went back I to I wonder. Normal. I don't know. It could be that. It could be the forest itself. True. Oh, yeah, see, this is, a uh... Justifiable? Oh, he can understand them. Oh my god, that's so cool! Come on, Belbo. <laughs> Eat them alive, Oh yeah, right in the... Oh! You need oh, to do the stab and stab. It. What is it? <laughs> oh, it stings. Good job. Indeed, it does. <laughs> Stink. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's how it got its name. Cute. Dang, I, I like see. That. Oh, what a great story, man. That is a great way to show us. <laughs> How that was named, right? That's some of my favorite parts of these films is how is getting those missing pieces, like how he <laughs> got the name, how he got the sword, the ring. Oh, I'm up here! Oh, <laughs> fuck me. So many jump scares. Get him! <laughs> Jesus! Ha. No! Oh, you can already see the panic yeah. setting. Yeah, he wants to have that ring. I don't know how I feel about that, man. I mean, it, it's useful here in this situation. I mean, I panicked when he dropped it, so I can kind of relate. Oh, oh that's uncomfortable. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Badass dwarves, man. <laughs> Jeez, man. Oh. Well, the action is phenomenal. What oh, is that thing, man? Yeah, Bilbo is definitely changing. That was extremely aggressive. <laughs> yeah, that didn't yeah. feel like it was self-defense anymore. Mine. There you go. Yeah, I felt that. I was gonna say, he fe it feels like he's using it more than Frodo. Significantly more. I mean, on one hand, it's cool because we get to see the true power of the ring. Right. But and on the other... I don't think he necessarily knows that this is the one ring. I'm sure, like, he's heard legends. Come on, Thorin. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I gotta be a little It is! It the is. surf! <laughs> yeah, I, I recognize yeah. that surf. <laughs> no way. Oh my god, that's so Do not good. think I won't kill you, dwarf. It would be my pleasure. Freaking Legolas. Coming on strong as always. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so they found the, uh, the elves. Woo! <laughs> hey! All right. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay. Yes! If you think I'm giving you a weapon, dwarf, you're mistaken! 
Oh, I like her. I like her too. Swift moves. <laughs> Who is this? Your brother? That is my wife. What is this horrid creature? A goblin mutant. That's my wee lad, Gimli. Oh, Gimli. Gimli. You'll meet him someday. Yeah. And you guys will compete to see who's got the <laughs> bigger the body count. <laughs> yes. Where did you get this? It was given to me. Not just a thief, but a liar as well. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Yeah, they really do not like each other, huh? Shit. They came on hella aggressive, though, these elves. Wow. Whoa, that's beautiful, man. Yeah. I love the way they create the world for the elves, man. It's so beautiful. I love the little details. Oh, I need myself one of those. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's the guy. That's the guy that didn't help the dwarves. Yeah. They, oh. They didn't come to help. We got some beef, bruh. This is going to be interesting. Going to search me. I could have anything down my trousers. Hey. Hey. Or nothing. Damn. Ouch. It's a 50 50. I mean, you want to, you know, take the gamble. <laughs> oh, he fell uh, already. I know. I love a good uh, enemies to lovers trope. Hey, Orhan. Benogoth. Hey. Pretty thick. Orhan. Malu van not ugly. That's mean. It's great that we get to see Legolas in this state, right? And we mm. see we get to see his true growth yeah. throughout the entire movie, right? He's a bit rougher in this one. You have found a way in. You seek that which would bestow upon you the right to rule. It is his right to rule. The Ark in Stone. It is precious to you beyond measure. There are gems in the mountain that I too desire. Yeah, but I don't think the reasoning is the same, though. Yeah. I offer you my help. I am listening. I will let you go. Mm. If you but return what is mine. A favor mm. for a favor. Have my word. Okay. I would not trust. The great king to honor his word should the end of all days be upon us. Ooh. Yeah. I have seen how you treat your friends. We came to you once, starving, seeking your help. He remembers. Mm, yeah. You turned away from the suffering of my people. Whoa. I have faced the great serpents of the north. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. That's his true appearance. I warned your grandfather of what his greed would summon, but he would not listen. Oh, that's Ooh. different. We got some added context here. Yeah. Interesting. So he tried to warn his grandfather. Yeah. And he was just blinded by greed, which caused what went down. I told him he could go Ishkarkve on Dognul. Him and all his kin. I think I know what that means. Uh, yeah, I don't need the full translation. A deal was our only hope. Shit, man. I mean, hmm. Our burglar. <laughs> I know you're there. Whoa. Excuse Why me. Why do you linger in the shadows? I was coming to report to you. Oh. Ah, okay. Clever. Keep our lands clear of those foul creatures. That is your task. Will they not spread to other lands? Other lands are not my concern. Of course they're not. Here in this kingdom, we will endure. Oh, he heard him. Slowly. Legolas said you fought well today. He has grown very fond of you. Ooh. Legolas thinks of me as no more than a captain in the guard. Perhaps he did once. Now, I'm not so sure. First of all, mind your business. Second of all, why would you throw Legolas under the bus like that? Do not think you would allow your son to pledge himself to a lowly sylvan elf. Oh, that's his father. I see. Do not give him hope where there is none. Damn. I don't like this guy at all. Listen, I think he comes across a little bit harsh. We just gotta give him some time. <laughs> he seems like a elitist prick, okay? If he proves me wrong, I'll apologize. My mother gave it to me so I'd remember my promise. What promise? That I would come back to her. Oh. All light is sacred to the Eldar, but wood elves love best the light of the stars. Mm. I always thought it is a cold light, remote and far away. It is memory, precious and pure. Oh, he's falling in love so oh, hard. Oh, I know. Kind of getting a vibe from her as well. We're never going to reach the mountain, are we? Mm. Not stuck in here, you know. Hey, Bilbo always coming right on time. He's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but they need to get their weapons back too. I was gonna say, right? how are they gonna sneak past the guards? They're gonna have to fight them, I guess, at some point. Unless they just sneak past the front door. Don't 
believe it. We're in their cellars. We're supposed to be leading us out, not further in. I know what I'm doing. Just follow him and shut up. Take one of the bottles with you. I know. <laughs> That's facts. Into the barrels, quickly. Are you mad? Please, you must trust me. Into the barrels? That is smart. That's so smart, man. <laughs> And they're small enough too. It's so adorable. <laughs> Hold your breath. Hold my breath. What do you mean? Oh. 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 oh wow. Oh Down my they god. Go. Oh no. <gasps> yeah. Shit. Now what? Where is the keeper of the keys? <laughs> put on the ring. Put on the ring. Now's the time. Says. <laughs> Trying to find the weak point. Shit. Oh, there you go. Okay. Whee! Down you go. She saw that for yeah. sure. Well done, Master Baggins. Go, come on, let's go. Oh, that is so cool. I'm sorry, I have to say it. This would be an amazing <laughs> ride. <laughs> yes, it really would be, though. A water ride. Look at this. Yes, Come on. <laughs> I agree. You don't have to tell me twice. Right? Give me that Lord of the Rings Look at this. theme park already. That looks like fun. I would so do that. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a rough oh, ride. Oh, yeah. Hollow and No. No. <laughs> You gotta, oh, you gotta move fast. Oh no! They're so close! No! No! Ah, oh, <laughs> oh, was the perfect escape, man. Oh, they got all of them in one, one place. <gasps> oh! Ah! Orcs! Are you kidding me? Yep. I guess they're here now. How the hell did the orcs get here? So the place really has been infested with more and more of these. Yeah, they've been getting overrun. Come on, come on. Ah, good job. I love how much bolder Bilbo is in this one. Yeah, he's so, so much, much more of an active participant. Yeah. He's putting Sting to work. <laughs> oh! Ouch. It's not getting up anytime soon. Don't you dare kill him! Oh. No! Killy! No! Killy. Oh, man. That was a close call. Oh. Ooh. Jeez. Yeah, that she elf is badass. Yeah. That oh. <laughs> what a shot. Look at us with his fucking headshots, Hell man. Yeah. I love this guy. Come on, man. Open those gates. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> nice choreography, man. I love Very how nice. smooth. The elves are with their combat moves. I love it. It really does. They really do make them seem like they've been training for centuries. Yeah, so elegant and light. Keely! Come on, Keely. Oof, come on. Oh, okay. Nice. Ouch. Uh, and he broke the arrow. Oh, man. What the oh. hell is that? Camera. <laughs> POV shot. Looks like a freaking GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how I feel about those shots, but anyway. Ooh. Nice. Sick. I love how they basically float, dude. I want to be an elf. Oh. Shit. Oh. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, they're going to wow. pass down those weapons. Nice. Oh, sick, man. I'm loving the teamwork. They're amazing. What a big axe. I know. Jesus. Ooh. Nice. That is awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. That's awesome. Nice. Woo! Oh! <laughs> That's great. Hey. hey. Remember Full bowling? strike, man. <laughs> oh, my God. I have to say, the action in this feels so different, but I'm loving it. Yes. So original. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! 
Oh, man. Hell yeah. Ooh, Ooh what a okay. dodge. Okay. Nice. Love it. Don't forget it, the little it. surf move. This is extremely entertaining, man. Dude, this is so good. <laughs> oh, nice. It's got your back there, bud. A dwarf just saved your life, just so you know. Remember that, Legolas. He's not happy about that at all. Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh. Nice. Wow. Oof. How do you? Oh no, no. Oh, Ebo Queen. Wow. Kept keeping one alive. Did you know that in that scene, she actually threw the knife and deflected the <laughs> other one? <laughs> oh, man. I'm loving how over the top that was. It's a yeah, completely different vibe, it, but it works. It, it works worked. for this. It worked so well. I don't know how long that sequence was. I would watch a whole movie like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a journey in the river with the barrels. Yes. What is Gandalf up to? This poor man. He's he doing some shit again. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Watch your step, man. Does it look like the gates were like burst open, right? Yes, yeah, something broke out of there. Broke out of there. Oh! Oh! If he had a name, it's long since been lost. He would have been known only as a servant of evil. Okay. One of a number. Oh, multiple oh. of them. Gotcha. One of nine. The nine? One of nine as in the Nazgul? The ring wraiths have been Dude. summoned yes! to Dol Guldur. But it the ring wraiths! The nine only answer to one master. Gonna see the Nazgul. In our blindness, the enemy has returned. The enemy is preparing for war. So he knew long ago. Where are you going? To rejoin the others. I started this. I cannot forsake them. Mm. They are in grave danger. If what you say is true, the world is in grave danger. Yeah, his worst nightmares mm. are now confirmed. <laughs> yeah, and he's injured. What the hell are they gonna do? Yeah, an arrow went through that leg. What the fuck is this? Oh! Oh God! Jeez! Ah. Do it again, and you're dead. Okay, he's not killing them. What makes you think I would help you? No doubt you have some hungry mouths to feed. How many beards? Boy and two girls. Oh, Aww. it's a daddy. Imagine she's just a beauty. <laughs> I. <laughs> she was. Oh. Aww. Single father. We need food, supplies, weapons. Can you help us? I know where these barrels came from. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. I don't know what business you had with the elves. I don't think it ended well. Indeed it did not. Nope, it didn't. I'll wager there are ways to enter that town unseen. <laughs> Become a smuggler <laughs> for us. Smuggle us in. You would need a smuggler. Ha! There you go. <laughs> the blackhead archer. We stuck him with a mortal shaft. The poison's in his blood. <gasps> He'll be choking on it soon. Oh no. I would not antagonize her. You like death? Oh dear. Then let me give it to you. What? Toriel, Echo, wow, he. Yeah, we need all of the information this guy can give us. I don't know. I feel like give her five minutes with him. She'll make him talk. I feel like she has the rage. Tell us what you know, and I will set you free. See, this looks pretty good. Yeah. The look of this orc. Your world will burn. What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you guys trying to do here? Yeah. My master serves the one. Do you understand now? The one. The flames of war are upon you. <laughs> <laughs> you promised to set him free. And I did. Yep, technically. Uh, oh, he's still shivering, that's horrible. <laughs> There was more the orc could tell us. There was nothing more he could tell me. He's hiding something. I don't trust him. What are you trying to do? Drown us? I was born and bred on these waters, Master Dwarf. If I wanted to drown you, I would not do it here. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see, we throw him over the side and be done with it. Oh, oh come Bard. on. Bard, his name's Bard. I don't like him. We do not have to like him. We simply have to pay him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Turn out your pockets. He's doing you guys a favor. He could be in trouble too. 
so many different worlds we're getting to see, I right? I love it, man. This is awesome. Every single area feels so distinctive. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it's your favorite. <laughs> that the smell of raw seafood is a fucking nightmare. We're approaching the toll gate. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, that is awesome. That is so cool, dude. Anything to declare? Nothing. That I am cold and tired and ready for home. You and me, Boris. Get it through customs. <laughs> All in order. Not so fast. Oh, I hate him already. I don't know who this is. That annoying TSA agent. If I recall correctly, you're licensed as a bargeman. Not <gasps> a fisherman. That's none of your business. Stay quiet. These fish are illegal. Empty the barrels over the side. You heard him. What? Uh, oh no. Well, their cover's gonna be blown if that happens. Food is scarce. That's not my problem. Oh, what when the people here, the master douche. is dumping fish back in the lake. When the rioting starts. Yeah, you'll know who to blame. Yeah. Protector of the common folk. You might have their favor now, Bargeman, but it won't last. All right, man. We know where you live. It's a small town, Alfred. Everyone knows where everyone lives. <laughs> <laughs> right back at you. Exactly. Jobs, shelter, food. It's all they ever bleat about. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So entitled. Some basic rights, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Come on. What are they thinking? <laughs> what is this place? This Master Buggins is the world of men. Wow. Whoa. Come on, move. In the name of the Master in Lake Town. Go, 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 go. Oh my god! They literally just got here. Oh! Ooh. Nice! Alright, well. Yes! <laughs> What's going on here? But he's like, nope, minding nothing. our own business. Just shine. What are you up to, bud? Nothing. I'm looking for nothing. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Damn! Knocked right him out. out. Yep. Your wife would look lovely in this. Should I buy it for her? <laughs> I know her as well as any man in this town. What does that mean? Me she a hoe and I'm stopping. <laughs> you can tell the master I'm done for the day. <laughs> so petty, I love it. The dwarfish windlands. The last time we saw such a weapon, the city was on fire. It was mm. the day the dragon came. Oh. But a dragon's hide is tough. Only a black arrow fired from a windlands could have pierced the dragon's hide. Oh. I see. The store was running low when Gideon. Yeah. Uh. Oh, oh man, he couldn't penetrate. No. He loosened his scale under the left wing. One more shot and he would have killed the beast. <laughs> That's a fairy story, lad. Where are the weapons? Wait here. Give him some time, man. I feel like yeah. everybody's a bit tense here. You could tell that the, the yeah. dwarves are a bit riled up. A little mistrustful, a little angry. We paid you for weapons. Swords and axes! Oh, they're not happy with it. Why not take what's on offer and go? I've made do with less. I say we leave now. You must wait till night. Gotta lay low. Yeah, it's too hot right now. The king has never let Orc field from our lands. Yet he would let this Orc pack cross our borders and kill our prisoners. Right. Interesting. It will not end here. Yeah. With every yeah. victory, this evil will grow. If your father has his way, we will do nothing. Exactly. Yeah. Tell me, Melon, when did we let evil become stronger than us? Ever. Nice. Never ever. Wolves doing in these parts. It's the prophecy. The prophecy of Durin's folk. There's a what? prophecy? Oh, well, yeah, they were talking about the prophecy in the first film. Yeah. Bell shall ring in gladness at the mountain king's return, but all shall fail in sadness, and the lake will shine and burn. Oh, damn, oh, that's no. not a good prophecy good. after all. I tried to stop them. How long have they been gone? Oh, is this going to be one of those things where the prophecy conflicts with what they're trying to do here? Oh, I don't know. But people will believe what they want to believe. Been a long time since they've seen any riches. The old tales offer them hope. He's like, hope, you say? <laughs> what? Such an alien thing. <laughs> Just Bunch of mercenaries if ever there was, sire. You do not know to whom you speak. This is Thorin. Yeah, tell him about right. Thorin. Son of Thor! We are the dwarves of Elevor. People are going to be like, it's clicking. Everything yeah. is making sense. 
This was no forsaken town on a lake. Yeah. This was the center of all trade in the north. Yeah, it all fell apart because of that fucking guy. I would relight the great forges of the dwarves, send wealth and riches flowing once more from the halls of Erebor! Hell yeah. <laughs> Get the people on your side, hell Speech. yeah. Speech. If you waken that beast, it will destroy us all. History repeats itself. But I promise you this, if we succeed, all will share in the wealth of the mountain. Sounds like a pretty good deal. I think so. Why should we take you at your word, eh? Who here can vouch for your character? Uh, Bard? <laughs> I'll vouch for him. Thorin Oakenshield gives his word and he will keep it. <laughs> Aww. Aww. What a relationship, man. I know. Both of them. Have you forgotten what happened to Dale? Have you forgotten those who died in the firestorm? The blind ambition of a mountain king. Ooh. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let us not forget that it was Gideon, your ancestor, who Ooh. failed to kill the beast. <laughs> oh, shit. They all had a hand in it. Arrow after arrow, he shot. Each one missing its mark. He hit the dragon. It just didn't penetrate. Yeah. You have no right. No right to enter that mountain. He has every right. Welcome! <laughs> Welcome! But not because of the people. No. We all know that. The mountain. I'm a, I mean, I understand this guy's fear too, because, like, Smog is a fucking dragon, <laughs> you the know? The premonition is death all around him, so I get it. It's a, it's a conflicting thing, right? Not you. When we must travel at speed, you will slow us down. What are you talking about? Come in with you. Oh, no. They're gonna ground you. When we first look upon the halls of our fathers, Thor and Kiri, stay here. Join us when you're healed. Oh, that is heartbreaking for him. To make it this far? I'm done with dwarves. Go away. No one will help us. Keely's sick. I hope he figures out a way to make it- make him last a little bit longer at least, yeah. you know? Make him feel a bit better. Oof. Oh man, our crew is starting to split up. I know. I don't know how I feel about this, man. That's not great, man. I'm really enjoying how this film is introducing new characters, though. Me too. It's it's really effective in the writing. Like, you get to understand the character of who that person is quite fast. Gandalf said to meet him here on no account. Will we you see him? We have no time to wait upon the wizard. We're on our own. Come. Trust that he'll come. He always does. Let's wait for him a little bit longer. Shit, man. But I don't know if... I don't want them to wait for nothing either. Dark old Yeah, he's with Radagast. A spell of concealment lies over there this you place, go. which means our enemy is not yet ready to reveal himself. Still weak. Still preparing. I'm going in alone. What? On no account, come after me. Damn, what a badass. He's going in by himself? <sighs> Do I have your word? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Turn around and do not come back. It's undoubtedly a trap. Oh man. Even knowing it's a it's a full-on trap, he's not gonna back out of this one. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. By concealment. Did it work? <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, sick Dutch angle. That's great. Give me a shim. Come on out, guys. Oh no. It's so disorienting. It's just. <laughs> oh yeah. shit! The hell? Oh no. Oh. Oh, oh. Get him, man. What the fuck is this? Oh my god. Oh, he's fast. Oh, he lost his hat. Not not the hat, man. Not Come the on. Hat, man. <laughs> nice horror element. I love it. It's like a haunted house. Oh, cleansing the corruption. I think so. Is this who I think it is? I think so. Yeah. He's alive. He was alive after mm. all. Oh. I'm so sorry I gave you up for dead. I had a son. Yeah. 
Yeah, what happened to you? The orcs had taken Moria. We were at war. Yeah, he's slowly remembering. Have you kept them safe? I gave them to Sauron. The seven armies of the dwarves will answer to a new king. No. He doesn't seem too happy about that. Why? What's the no problem? No one must enter that mountain. Just because of smog? I mean... <laughs> I, I mean, think just that's because yeah, yeah. You said that a little bit too casually. I think that's that's a good reason not to want to no, go in there. No, I mean, because Smaug feels like a, too much of a straightforward answer. I feel like there's some kind of plot twist. Something hiding. else. Rue this day. I want to be happy for you guys, man. I know. I just have this weird sense of dread now. Yeah. We're finally here. They're gonna lose the light. Oh no. Nori. This is taking too long. Let's trust in their process. I can't find it. It's not here! Are they looking in the right place? I don't think so. Shit. Sheesh! Come on! Oh, man. That's no good. The door's sealed. Can't be opened by force. Oh, no. Well, there goes the light. No. no. Oh my god. The last light of Durin's day will shine upon the keel. Oh, he sounds so defeated. What did we miss? What went wrong? Were you guys in the right place? We've lost the light. There's no more to be done. We had but one chance. It's over. I feel like Bilbo's thinking about something. Yeah. You can't give up now! Shit, man. This was it. Fine. You can't give up now. Damn, that that entire mm. journey for nothing? Stand by the Greystone. Aww. Good for you, Bilbo. And the last light of Durin's day will shine. I love his will, man. Me too. Last light. Huh. He does not give up. Oh. Is it was it moon? Moonlight? I mean it's the last light. Doesn't have to be sunlight. This is it. No. It wasn't as straightforward as oh. I thought it was. The last light. Get the key, man. Get the key. He dropped it. The key, ho! Come back! Come back! Oh, they're so far. Where's the key? Where's the... It was just... <gasps> no! Oh... All right. That heart attack was so unnecessary. Just grab the key and put it in. <laughs> Please, stop messing about. Okay, stop being so dramatic. You look like a hair commercial. It's all great. Please, let's go. Aww. Welcome back, hey, boys. What a crew. Come on. You can thank Bilbo for staying, by the way. True. Y'all had given up already. Erebor, son. <laughs> oh. So many emotions. I know these walls. Aww. You're back home. You remember it, Berlin. I remember. Aww. Wow. It must be so overwhelming, man. <laughs> the throne of the king. Aww. And what's that above it? The stone, isn't it? The Arkenstone. Yep. Arkenstone. That's gonna play a role in all of this, isn't it? Somehow. But, Master Burglar. Is why you are here. Mm. Yeah. That's why we need you, man. So where's he burgling from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is only one Arkenstone. Mm. Right. You'll know it when you see it. Excellent. I do not know what you will find down there. You needn't go if you don't want to. Mm. I promise I would do this, and I think I must try. Balin is so wholesome, man. Mm. It never <laughs> ceases to amaze me. What's that? The courage of hobbits. Indeed. Yeah. He's been so brave, man. He really has. If there is, in fact, a um, live dragon down there, <laughs> don't waken it. This is gonna Great. be so bad, man. <laughs> oh my god, I already know. <laughs> the dragon, I'm the one. Hurry, we must hurry. What? Oh. Oh my god. Damn. Ooh. Ow. Oh. Rude. Where is oh. your master? Oh, 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 oh. oh wow! Can't even get close. 
Oh, wow. Oh, my God. It's a full on army. Jesus. You need to do some badassery right now. Did he just teleport? It seemed like he just did. What? Ooh. <laughs> Very nice. Haha, nice. <laughs> you shall not pass. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> face to face. Tell my son that I loved him. You will tell him yourself. Yeah, I was gonna say. No. Oh. What the what hell? What the hell? Whoa. Holy shit, he's powerful. It's a little forced feel around him. Come on, man. Come on. Damn, this darkness is really powerful. Oh, oh man. My god. Yeah, fight it back, man. Damn. Holy shit. No way. Is that it? Oh! Oh my god. His staff. Oh. oh. Yeah, the theme. Oh my god. Oh, wow, what a way to show us power. That that's who I think it is, isn't it? Sauron man. Whoa. Holy shit. I love that. I love that. How they invoked the eye yeah, imagery. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so oh, sick. That's crazy. Dude, what? I have chills. Dude, this this one has some really cool moments in it. This is really cool. This is really cool. Damn, that magic battle they've got. That was going. fucking awesome. The sound design. It actually felt like the threat felt real. He tried, man. Gandalf was really pushing yeah. him back. You can see gold down there. <laughs> Damn, that's a yeah. lot of gold. A lot of riches. Oh, the hell is he not going to oh. wake the dormant dragon? And find the Arkenstone. I would definitely pack a few things. <laughs> Just a few, you know. Just one for the couple. road. <laughs> yep. Jesus. It's like a needle in a haystack. Yeah. <laughs> Shush. Shush. Bilbo. God damn it, Bilbo. Yeah, it could be anywhere. Buried under tons of jewels and gold. Ah, oh, damn, the dwarves were sitting on some riches, man. Jesus. Whoa. Bilbo. Christ Whoa. Almighty. Oh, no. That's the eye. Oh, are we... Oh, yeah, we get to see snippets of his scale. Oh. Whoa. You just see tiny Bilbo in the middle. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Did it see you? Yeah, if you're gonna use it, now's the time. Actually, yeah. Just put that on. And beware of sound. Oh, he's waking up. Yeah. Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that looks awesome. <laughs> That's so cool. An actual dragon. We finally got to see. Is he seeing him? Well, I smell you. Oh, he can smell him. I feel your air. Oh, what an amazing oh, voice. So good. Where are you? Oh. <laughs> right there ah <laughs> uh, yeah shit 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 now he knows please don't be shy step into the light oh that voice is so good <sighs> something you carry what something is? made of gold it knows oh. about the ring it senses it oh, oh my god precious <gasps> 
I merely wanted to gaze upon your magnificence. Okay, smart. If you really were as great as the old tales say. Yeah, well, uh, believe him now. <laughs> that's for sure. Well, that's better than saying, hey, have you seen the Arkenstone by any chance? Do you now? Oh. Truly. Yeah, magnificent. And where did you come from, may I ask? <gasps> there it is. All right. I come from under the hill. Under hill. Under hill. Oh, my God. So menacing, man. <laughs> Literally one munch. One cough of fire. Yeah. And what about you little dwarf friends? Oh, he can smell the dwarf on him? Dwarves. Yeah. Poker face. You all are? the way. <laughs> you are mistaken. No. Oh, Smaug, chiefest and greatest of calamities. <laughs> that was me with my parents when I was in trouble. Yeah. Oh, mother, the best of all. When you're coming home with that report card. <laughs> Did you think I did not know this day would come? Ooh. Ah. Oh shit. Oh. <gasps> yeah, he's up. Was that an earthquake? That no, guys. My land was a dragon. Oh, shit. Are you guys gonna go in and help or? I mean, at this point, it's already I awake. I know, he knows you guys are here. Take your children, get out of here. And go where? There is nowhere to go. Are we going to die, Dad? Yes, a horrible, painful death, child. <laughs> Damn, that must be terrifying, not having anywhere to go and knowing that that weapon of mass destruction is coming. He kept one. Oh my god. Not if I kill it first. Oh. Don't miss. <laughs> Better not. My armor is iron. <laughs> oh man. With the headphones, the bass comes in so well whenever Smaug talks. The it's rumbling of his voice. Yeah. <laughs> my entire face is vibrating every time yeah. he speaks, yeah. <laughs> Give him more time. Time to do what? To be killed? You're afraid. Yes, I'm afraid. Smart enough to be afraid. A sickness lies upon that treasure hoard. A sickness which drove your grandfather mad. You're not yourself. Uh... A foreign I know would not hesitate to go in there. I will not risk this quest for the life of one burglar. Oh, come on. He's so much more than that now. His name is Bilbo. Yeah, it's taken a hold on him already. Already, man. The closer he gets, I feel like the hold on him is stronger. Hokushin's quest will fail. The darkness is coming. Oh, he knows. Yeah. He's just been waiting for it. Oh my god. And they've got Gandalf. I don't know, man. This all seems like it's uh not going too well. No. Single time, not one piece of it. Come Get on. it, man! Ooh. No! Oh! Grab it, grab it, grab it, please! My wings are a hurricane! Oh! Oh, he did knock off a. It was not a legend. Oh! Watch it corrupt his heart and drive him mad. Yeah. Interesting. I think our little game ends here. Oh my oh, god. Run! Thief, how do you choose to die? <laughs> Go! Ah! He's gonna run oh, into no. brave fire. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Get the hell away from there. The facial expressions, man. You could tell the emotions and <laughs> that the dragon is, you know, what he's thinking and how he's feeling. Right. A lot of detail. Especially with the dragon, right? Because it's not a very humanoid face. So, right. So to make the emotions understandable for us, it's so impressive. I really need the elves to start showing up at any point now. Any that, minute, you guys. That would be nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh. oh no. Yep. <laughs> yeah, protect those kids, man. Oh. Hey! That's a bow and arrow, right? That was an arrow. Tell me they're here. Yep. Yeah! Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oof. Make quick work of them. Oh, oh! nice. Nice. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Ooh. Damn. Come on, help him out, please. Please. Ooh. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that was badass. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. <laughs> that was so cool. There are others. Dario. <sighs> We're losing him. Please help. Please do something. Damn, Legolas was just gonna leave like that? I guess so. Mm hmm. What are you doing? I'm going to save him. All right, well. It's like they did with Frodo. Hmm. Saying it's the same weed. Did you find the Arkenstone? The dragon's coming. The Arkenstone. Yes, but we gotta go. Did you find it? No, we have to get out. Uh, Thorin? What the fuck, man? Thorin. Oof. Well, you will burn. <laughs> yeah. Such a great voice. Run. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Damn. Shit. Ah, that must sting. Come on, man, you gotta hold on. She's got you. you. Gotta hold on so you can ask her out after this, you yeah, know? Yeah, bro. Be like, yeah. hey, you know, you're kind of badass and kind of cute. <laughs> kind of. You also saved my leg, so thank you. Let me take you out for an <laughs> ale. Let's go on a barrel ride sometime, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, my God. It's oh right above them. Oh, my them. God. Yeah, keep it moving. Is he toying around with them? I wonder. I feel like he's not going 100% on them just yet. No, I don't feel like he would go for the straight kill. He would play with his food first. <laughs> the walnuts. Walnut pillow. Nice and soft. <laughs> that was a privilege to witness. You cannot be her. She is far away. Oh, no, man. She walks in starlight in another world. It was just a dream. Ah, you just confessed to her. She's real, my friend. Nope, she's right here. Mm-hmm. Do you think she could have loved me? They're gonna leave us there, really? <gasps> Why would you cut away? I need the drama. Friend zone or no? There's no way out. The last of our kin. They must have come here, hoping beyond hope. We could try to reach the mines. It might last a few days. What a bad way to go, man. That's horrible. We make for the forges. We'll never make it. Some of us might lead him to the forges. Lead him to the forges? If this is to end in fire, then we will all burn together. That was epic. Epic line delivery. Yeah. Well, let's burn together then. Well, hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully we get to kill him. <laughs> yeah! Nice. Ooh. Yeah, divide his attention. You gotta. Ah! Oh shit! Oh. Oh wow. Where are you going, Mister? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh shit. That's cheating. Oh, those bitches, man. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. It's too Holy easy. Holy shit, he's good with a sword, too. Oof. Oh. Come on. Oh, Ooh. Superman punch. Okay. <laughs> oh. Fuck yeah. Badass Legolas. Nice. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nice. Oh, shit. oh, what a brutal choreography. Oh my, where are this? These guys They're just back? keep coming. This fucker. Oh, are you, yeah, you're just gonna walk away, really? Yeah, of course. Oh, made him bleed. Oh. Uh, it's personal. Oh, now. yeah, now it's personal, bro. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Follow Bali. Go! 
Uh, oh my god! Hanging by a thread. Uh. <laughs> oh, nice shot, man. Uh. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Back up you go. <laughs> Shit! Oh Boop. my. <laughs> Boop the snoot! <laughs> they have no idea uh, how lucky they're getting. Dude, that was so lucky. They work so well together, though. These furnaces are stone cold. With no fire hot enough to set them ablaze. What do you know? What do you mean? We're so lucky we have a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> like, duh. <laughs> you have grown slow and fat. Mm. Fat shaming, love that. Slug. <laughs> Uh, yeah, talk about his weight. That'll get him yeah. pissed off. <laughs> he just called him a slug, though. <laughs> Damn. It must be so hot just being near that fire. Right? Must be unbearable. And there you go. Forge is up and running again. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Fanning the flames. Whoa. He's here now. <laughs> and you called him a slug, so. Yes. <laughs> a fat slug. <laughs> Yay! Get it, get it, get it, get it! Ooh. Oh, is that water? Yep. <laughs> ah. Cool him down a bit. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, he does not like water. Holy shit, dude. I love the intricate mechanics that go yeah. into all of this. Oh, he looks so pissed off. Oh! Oh, wow! Oh, he is locked in on Thorin. Damn, it's not even- it's not even doing anything. Oh, he's getting tangled. Lead him to the gallery of the kings! Oh What's your God. plan, man? Ah, ah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Look at how tiny he is compared to this massive uh. chamber. You have come from Lake Town. Those sniveling cowards with their long bows. Oh, no. I paid them a visit. Oh no. no! Oh no. Yeah, they really did not have anything to do with this. You care about them, do you? That you could watch them die. Damn, yeah. he got him. <sighs> Shit. You witless worm! <gasps> witless worm? <laughs> Damn. Tell him, Thorn. I am taking back what you stole. You will take nothing from me. I am king under the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. This is dwarf gold, and we will have our revenge. Oh. What are they doing? What does it mean? <laughs> That's Whoa. a lot of gold. Did they forge something as a dis distraction or? He really likes his gold. Jeez. Oh. Oh, cover him in gold? Oh. Was that the plan? I think so. Ah. They've been melting some gold. Damn! Oh yeah, now oh, I just that gotta must cool be it. So painful. A pool of gold. Oh! oh. I will show you revenge. Oh, I don't like this one bit. <laughs> He's coated in gold. You can still fly. 
I guess so. Oh, well, there goes your gold. So is this uh, useless? Oh my god. It's coming straight to them. Shit. Um, yes. Damn, man. He's, yeah, gonna tear it apart. What have we done? <laughs> no, no way, way. they end it here. Damn. Y'all bitches did not leave us hanging here right now. Hey, listen. As far as cliffhangers go, that was pretty excellent. I mean, they leave you at this point where everything seems doomed. I mean, Gandalf is stuck. You know, he has no way of reaching these this poor crew, right, of dwarves and, and Bilbo. It, it just seems so messy, man. I had a feeling that this dragon was just toying around with them for a bit. And I'm like, something is, it just mm. does not seem right. You know, the timing, I, I kind of felt like the movie was about to end and a lot of things were not resolved yet. This had a lot more action than I expected. And I have to say, I kind of dig the new take on how they shoot the action. I thought it was a bit more punchy. This feels, a, it's a bit more of a blockbuster in that sense. And I don't think that's necessarily something that's bad. I think that's a, you know, a different take. And I think that for what they were going for here, it worked. It was punchy. It felt dangerous. You know, you felt the the action had a bit more of an impact. So I, I do appreciate the, the new take, although I do recognize that it might not be everybody's cup of tea, especially if they, you know, went into this again, expecting something that isn't here. When it comes to the characters, I thought that they were more developed. This took the time to develop them even further. Mm -hmm. I feel like there was a connection there with the audience where we got to know them even better. Their goals and objectives were more defined in this film, I feel like, than in the first one. The first one was more like mm -hmm. setting up the stage for what was to come. And I think that this one really landed the punchline to really show us how much this means to everybody, why they need to stop them and make it a bit more clear for the audience to know where this is all going, right? Yeah, right. And I also, one thing I really liked about this one, which I think they did so much better compared to the first one, which is, again, understandable because the first one is all there for setup. This one, the stakes felt so much more real. The characters felt like they were in actual danger. It felt like there were going to be some very real consequences, which, I mean, it, it looks like there it is because Smaug is, is on his way to cause destruction in that town, that poor town. And he is pissed off. He is pissed they, off. He they yeah. really, really, really struck a nerve with him. Yeah, and I'm very fascinated by the element of the Arkenstone, and it looks like that has an impact, almost like the ring. It, it's interesting to see Thorin, the closer he got to Eneborn, the less himself he became. And I, that's an element that I really appreciated about this one. It gave us, a, it's like almost like a little reminiscent of the original trilogy in the best sense possible, where, you know, your leading character, the person that you're supposed to trust the most, starts acting like, they start acting in a way they're not really really quite supposed to and I really really like that element it makes Thorin feel more real instead of just you know your classical leading man who's you know your hero and always does the right thing all the time no he he makes some tough choices and some of them you understand and some of them are a little bit more questionable right when he calls Bilbo after everything that they've been through together that he's just a burglar it's I, I can't wait to see what that's gonna lead into I'm also so blown away by the fact that it is Sauron yeah that reveal I mean we 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 felt it coming, right. but because they really kept us in the dark and they didn't even mention it, you know, we didn't know it was very ambiguous. Mm -hmm. So we were kind of like, is it, is it not? And this film from the get go, there's a lot of references that make you go, this is starting to feel like it, it might be related to Sauron. Mm -hmm. And then they, you know, they're talking about the nine. We got that, you know, that bomb where they're like, yeah, it's the Nazgul for Shit. sure. Okay, wait, is it? Are they going to show us? And then we got that amazing 1v1 magic off, let's call it, with yes. Gandalf versus Sauron in a way. And you just see how powerful. And this is a guy, like at this point, he's not even 100% of right. his power. He, this is his weakened state. And he was able to pin down Gandalf. Yeah. And break his staff. It just like turned it into ash. Yeah. 
That was that was horrifying. It was great though, because it makes it feel so much more real. I also really like the addition of the elves here, and I love that, you know, the elves are, you know, they're still graceful and all that, but we, we see them in a slightly different light, right? And I, I did kind of appreciate that. They have their own goals, like for example with Randui, like it's I'm I'm wondering what that is all about. You see that they have their own problems that they're dealing with. I love the addition of Legolas and Tauriel. Mm. That was great. It was great to see Legolas again. And it was great to see that he was a little bit different in this one. He's not as honorable as we see him later on, which makes sense. Like his character grew and I'm assuming this adventure kind of contributed to his change, right? right? Um, and it's 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 so cool to get all of these little bits here and there that add context to the future, ultimately. I loved a lot of sequences here. It was, again, more action-packed than I expected. I think it was a good, you know, part two for this journey. They were in danger quite a lot, man. The forest <laughs> sequences had to be one of my favorites in this movie you know the forest felt like its own character like it really had a hold of all of our characters that were in there it, it felt like it was a powerful dark place and we didn't quite know it was like the complete opposite of what ethereal is right it's just pure corruption and i loved how they depicted that and how the dwarfs were almost in this drunken state and wanting to snap out of it and that's a terrible position to be in <laughs> where you you want to stay you know alert and you just you, you feel like you're falling asleep and you feel mm -hmm. drowsy that and the combination of knowing that you're in danger is just so terrifying and then of course the big reveal was that it was plagued with spiders yes what i love about that scene is that not only does it culminate in uh bilbo utilizing the ring to protect himself which of course we know that that has consequences the more you use the ring the more corrupted in a way and the more mm -hmm. i guess power hungry you become or mm -hmm. dependent on the ring it's, it's very much an addiction Thank you in that sense. So we know that's going to have consequences, but I really did love that they gave us the origin of why the sword is called Sting. I really, yeah. really dig that whole sequence. That was great. It's also so interesting that, you know, we do get to see Bilbo use the ring more, which I think it's nice to see it in a light where using the ring can actually be beneficial, right? As 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 messed up as it is, and you know, the ring is awful, we know all of that, but it was cool to see Bilbo use it to his advantage. It, he used it in times of absolute necessity and he used it in such a smart way like also that entire sequence with Smaug can we just <sighs> talk about Benedict Cumberbatch's performance in this like his voice oh my god like you said like with the bass it's like the cheeks our cheeks were vibrating throughout the <laughs> whole thing it was fantastic that moment was so tense very well paced that entire sequence it was great Smaug felt threatening lecherous and dangerous but also kind of toying with them which added kind of a levity there was a playfulness to his demeanor that uh, I appreciated and I think that also the, the dialogue they gave him you know, it was such beautiful vocabulary. Yeah. Like the way that Smaug spoke felt very poetic in a way. And I'm mm. pretty sure I've never read the books. I, I, I am going to because I'm really interested in the world. So I definitely want to. Same. But I, I just had a feeling like they stripped some of his sentences straight from the actual pages because it felt so poetic and so well written. Gotta be. That it felt either it's straight from the books or it is a homage to something that was written in the books and they, they, they tried to deliver it as close as possible to what was in those pages the same way that they did uh riddles in the dark i feel like it felt like it had a weight like those words meant something and and you know you know that smoke means it when he says i'm gonna get my revenge there was this i ah, just got this sinking feeling i'm like what have you done you just pissed off this beast <laughs> and poured melted gold on it and now he's out there and free you know at least we know he has one weakness so i'm just hoping you know we yes. have uh one more of those uh blackened arrows whatever they were called so hopefully you know man can uh can do right <laughs> this yeah. time and and, and, and hit it on um, you know the bullseye here yeah i'm super curious where this is gonna go especially with you know the confirmation of sauron um mm. we see the beginnings right of him trying to assert his dominance again and start spreading his power and ultimately sickness, right? It's spreading and it's going all over now. And all these like dark creatures are drawn to this power. So already it's like he's building an army. And I want to know like what the gap is, right? 
between here and Lord of the Rings. Like what exactly happens to kind of slow down his progress? I'm just really curious where they're going to take this. Like how do you end this trilogy in a way that the story still feels like it ended and we still know where it's going, but it feels resolved and like it can stand on its own two feet in a way. I think that's a great point to bring forth because the third film is going to have the very difficult task of not only completing this trilogy, like you mentioned, and making it feel like a whole, but also it's the film that is the bridge between this and presumably Fellowship of the Ring, right? Mm -hmm. So even though this is, we know that this was its own thing written before the Lord of the Rings, but you know, this is movie land now. This is Hollywood. So they're going to want to make that connection to where you are like, oh, if I'm assuming if you're watching that third film, you can kind of connect the dots and see how that happened. Right. So they're going to have a really difficult task at, you know, being able to insert those moments and fill in those gaps whilst at the same time concluding the story for the dwarves and Thorin. So I feel like that third film already seems like a very difficult task from a writer perspective so i'm hoping that you know they're able to do it in a fluent way because uh when you have something like that where it's like almost two different culminations happening at the same time sometimes it can get a little bit murky so that's the only thing that worries me about the next one again we'll get there when we get there obviously we have to see it before we judge it but i'm just saying those problems could arise and you know we'll keep an eye on them but as far as a solid film like this goes i thought that you know i i kind of prefer this one over the first hobbit i don't know if that's just me oh yeah i feel like the first one depended a little bit too much on nostalgia for the Lord of the Rings. And a lot of moments felt genuine, but also quite a few felt where it was like, ah, you're kind of toying with my emotions to make me feel some type of way, almost like, you know, emotional manipulation in a way. Yes. <laughs> and listen, there's a lot of films where I enjoy that. And I think that The Lord of the Rings has definitely earned it. So I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Like I mentioned, fan service is awesome, mm-hmm. especially when it's placed in a, you know, in a good moment. But uh, I did feel that they could have taken some more time to give us more of that insight and more of that knowledge. And I feel like this one was the one that gave us all the tools we needed to truly understand the depths of the story. And for that, I commend it because, you know, being number two, it's not that easy. You have to start with a specific momentum and make sure to just continue that momentum throughout the entire film so that part two doesn't feel like a slugfest, you know, and this (laughs) one definitely did not feel like a slugfest. Oh yeah. yeah, Smog hates that word, by the way. Yeah, I know. (laughs) Don't use that around smog. (laughs) So, you know, I feel like all things considered, the execution for this narratively was done extremely well. I mean, they kept the pace super super high it was high it was engaging the action was great the way that it was shot was different so i appreciate the fact that they didn't fall on things that they knew would work you know and just do a rinse and repeat of other things that have worked for them in the past and they're truly trying to do something new another thing that i really do enjoy here is that there was there was more of a blend between the cgi sets and the practical really really like that and i and that's where i think that the cgi truly excels when you have a few physical buildings there like let's say four or five houses and then you you complete the look you fill in the gap with cgi and it just looks so much better man than a fully 100 percent cgi where you throw your characters in there and you, you can always tell it just doesn't feel authentic i thought that the green screen blending in this was again executed in a much cleaner way they had a more it, it felt like they had more of a direction like they knew what, where they wanted to go with this film in comparison with the first one and i don't know if that was intentional again i have no idea about the production we mm. tend to research the production side of things after the fact but you know this felt like you know peter jackson and his crew they knew where the story started where it ended and they probably already knew by now what the ending was going to look like in a in, in the movie um iteration of this story so they were able to make more confident decisions in how they were shooting the things that they were shooting so you know the set design was it felt like it, it had more intention some of the orcs were actually I believe were practical because they looked amazing. If they were CGI, then holy shit. I mean, yeah. they look extremely different than the ones that we saw <laughs> in the previous film. So, you know, the makeup department was there. It felt a little bit more organic mm-hmm. in, in both uh, the emotional sense of things and also the uh, aesthetic side of things. So I feel like as a whole, this film felt more real in that sense. And I, I do appreciate that groundedness. Yeah, I also feel like with this one, they found a bit more of that bravery in themselves to step outside of that, you know, the that older sibling that, you know, you are constantly under the shadow of. I feel like in this one, they were like, we're not going to do things the way the original trilogy did it. We're going to do things our way. And as soon as they embrace that, especially, you know, with the action, the dialogue, I think was great in this one, too. But the way they also managed multiple characters across different storylines they did such a great job and i feel like finally they came into their own this felt like 
it had its own identity. It wasn't banking off of the Lord of the Rings yeah. fans, you know, loving it so much that we catch all the references. There were references in this one too, but they were not as ham-fisted <laughs> in this one. It was a little bit more subtle. You, you got certain callbacks here and there, but it didn't feel like the emotions of that moment really were leaning super heavily on you to remember that. You know what I mean? And I really appreciated that. I think that the score felt as much as it was reminiscent of the original, there were certain moments that were so so different like the heartbeat and uh, moment and with the forest, in the forest yeah. with the spiders and then how they started integrating that into the score it was different and then that just added such a different joy to the whole situation i personally had a great time with this you know like i know it's a close to a three hour movie i did not check the time once i did not get bored once i was invested in every single character's arc in this the the threats felt real the stakes felt real and at this point i'm left at such a cliffhanger i want to go <laughs> right into the next one yeah. Uh, you know, like, I love what they did with this one. I agree. I thought this was entertaining. I thought that, you know, a film that can keep you engaged and have fun for two hours and 40 something minutes. I yeah. mean, that's it's good. You know, if you're not bored or if you don't feel in any negative, like a heavy negative way about it, I think the film did its job. I honestly do. And I'm not just saying that it's average. I think it's way above average. It's a pretty good film, better than a lot of films that we've seen coming out last year and, and this year so far. Facts. So honestly, this has been a joy to watch for us. And I agree with you. I think that, you know, separating themselves, the more they separate themselves from the Lord of the Rings, yeah. the more I feel like we're watching something new. And therefore, I can give them more credit for trying to, uh, you know, do something fresh. But at the same time, I know that that's a double edged sword where the people mm -hmm. that are truly, you know, purest of the Lord of the Rings might feel yeah. some type of way because it doesn't feel like it. And I mentioned this in the past in the previous film, I feel like and, and this is the sense that, that I'm getting from the filmmakers as well, not just narratively, but the way that they're doing things is just disassociated from what's going to come in the future for, right. for this world middle earth with the lord of the rings because it's meant to feel different it's meant to be a different thing and for the people that have already experienced the lord of the rings and this is a, a dlc per se it's an <laughs> expansion of sorts enjoy the expansion enjoy that you get to see some characters you know return and in interactions that you never you know thought you would see so at least in that regard i'm satisfied i'm enjoying this this was a fantastic fantasy film <laughs> really over the top and uh i cannot wait to see how they're gonna stick the landing this was a great time guys i hope that you enjoyed uh watching with us thank you so much for joining us and as always we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. See ya.